Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Tommy Starr here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to another unboxing and weekly pickups video. And this is for release day, April 13th. <laughs> Everybody's having a great week. I know I am. Definitely got some cool releases for the week. And uh, as far as last week goes, I know I didn't put out a video, but there really wasn't anything that came out that I was interested in getting. Pretty much the first week in a really long time that I actually didn't buy something. But as far as this week goes, we do have these two packages from Amazon. I got this package here from BestBuy.com. And that's everything new for the week. And then we also have a couple packages here of some really cool stuff to open up. This here is something I got off of eBay, but it's a Zobby exclusive of something I missed out on. I got this package here from my buddy Tony from uh, Basement Blues on YouTube. Uh, he was having a, uh, a giveaway. He just recently hit 5,000 subs and he was doing a live video uh, like last week. And had some giveaways on there. So this is something that I actually won on his channel. I ordered this over a month ago. It finally arrived. My package from the Warner Archive sale. I, they were way behind apparently. Uh, with all the orders that they got. And it finally shipped and finally showed up. So I cannot wait to show you guys what's in there. But before we get into everything you guys as usual. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet. Please do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. And uh, hit the notification bell, that way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so I know I usually talk about titles that came out for the week that I didn't get. And to be honest with you, there really isn't anything to talk about. So we're going to get right into these packages. I'm going to go ahead and do all the non-new release stuff. We'll get that out of the way. So first one I'm going to do here is my package for my buddy Tony. Like I said, he I recently hit 5,000 subs. And uh, he was doing a live uh, video giveaway. He's giving away some still books and some t-shirts. And he had a bunch of special guests on there. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I ended up winning uh, one of his still books. So one that I never bought when it came out. And I'm happy to have it now. So definitely check out his channel, you guys. Um, I'll put it down in the description uh, box below. He's a really good friend. I've done a lot of live videos with him over on his channel. So Definitely go subscribe to him and then go check out those live videos that I did with him in the past. Uh, I did one, just the two of us, and then I also did one a couple weeks ago with me and Craig. So that was a lot of fun. Hopefully sometime in the future I'm going to uh, do another live video uh, and I'll have him join up with me. So that should definitely be a lot of fun. So, All right, so uh, definitely pa packaged it up well. He knows uh, how fragile still looks. Sorry, he's a big still book collector. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to win this this particular one. So, okay. Wow. He's, he's, he had it in this package. Uh, the Amazon package. He also put it in here. So, thank you very much, Tony. And let's see here. And he also has it in a protective sleeve. So, that is the still book, uh, the 4K still book for 1917. Still haven't watched this movie yet. Craig's been after me forever to watch this. And uh, I believe this was a Best Buy exclusive. Maybe not, because I think the J-Card would normally say that. I can't remember if this was or it wasn't. It could have been. But it looks like we got some embossing on here. I'll go ahead and get this out of here. Move the J-Card, yeah. This is all uh, debossed. It's pretty cool. There's the back. <clears throat> Spine. And uh, we get the Blu-ray and the 4K disc in there. So that's pretty awesome. Like I said, I haven't watched this yet. I definitely will soon. But I'm just really happy to have this still book. So thanks again, Tony, very much for, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> letting me be a part of your contest. And uh, for uh, giving me this still book. That's awesome. All right, so next up here, we're going to do the one from eBay. Like I said, this is a Zabby exclusive that I was a little late to the game on. And... I ended up having to find it on eBay because it was sold out. 
And when I when I realized that they had this, I just it looked awesome. I just had to own this. So I jumped on eBay. Believe it or not, I didn't pay much more on eBay than what it was going for, you know, on, on Zabby. So we'll go ahead and crack this open. Really excited to see what this looks like. And I, as far as I know, I think this is sealed. So yeah, it is awesome. Okay. So what did they call this? I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a name for this particular type of like release. This is the Titans of Cult Zabby exclusive Stillbook uh, gift pack. I guess I don't know what you what you want to call this. So the original 1989 Batman, and this is too cool looking. Um, I'm gonna crack this open. We'll take a look on the inside, but um, I guess you get like a little this little uh, Batram, whatever you call that. Um, so yeah, some kind of a uh, the seal book's on the inside, and you get this cool packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can take a closer look. So I got it pulled out of the package here. So pretty pretty flimsy packaging, but whatever. So first thing I'll show you here is uh, you get this. Uh, it's it's actual, I think it's, it's not an enamel pin. It's more metal, I think, but it's a pin regardless. But of the you know, Bataram thing, whatever, that that's cool that you get that. And then get back in here, and then here's the still book. Pretty cool looking. It's like a it's like blueprints of a Batmobile or whatever. That's pretty cool. There's the front. There's the back. There's the spine. And then on the inside, this is cool. You also get this Joker card from the movie. You guys, I'm pretty sure will remember with uh, the hole in it. That's pretty neat. And then we get our 4K disc, which will be region free. This is, you know, from you know a different region release. So, but there's the 4K disc, and then this is the Blu-ray disc, which is probably not going to be region free um, because I think it's going to be like a like a region B or something. But 4K is region free, so you can, if you get it, you can watch the 4K. But there's that, and then there's the inside. Kind of hard to see with the glare, but. A pretty cool release. I know it is pretty limited. It says it on the uh, on the packaging. Um, I, well, at least I think it does. It's got this little sticker down here. I'm assuming that probably means, um, you know, whatever number this is. I, I really have no idea. But so a pretty cool release. They had a, a few other movies um, that released these, you know, Titans of Cult releases, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, just really happy to have this. Like I said, when I seen I missed out on it, I jumped on eBay and had to grab it for the collection. All right, we're going to go ahead now and take a look at the Warner Archive order that I got. I don't even remember what titles are in here. I don't even remember how many I got because, like I said, it's been over a month. But so, kind of excited. Kind of a surprise at this point. So, and like I mentioned, apparently Warner Archive is going away. So, I mean, they just recently announced more titles, but, yeah, they're uh, going away, apparently. So. All right, here we go, you guys. So, we'll just kind of run through these. First one up here. Like I said, these are all from the uh, Warner Archive collection. Drop Dead Gorgeous. I haven't seen this in a really long time. This is a fairly new release for Warner Archive. So, definitely a cool movie. Had to jump up on that one. Next up here. Movie I don't really know anything about from Beyond the Grave. This came out in uh, 1973, it looks like. So kind of an older movie. But uh, looked good. Had to grab that. So this is the um, 1976 version. So I think this is the previous one to the most recent one. Uh, but that is Barbara, Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson in A Star is Born. And like I said, this is the, I think this is like the second remake, because I think the newest one with the Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga is like the fourth one, third remake, I believe. I think there was one in like the 50s and one possibly like in the 20s or 30s. I don't know, but this one is, uh, it definitely looks good. Um, I like both of these actors, so, uh, you know, we'll check it out. We'll see how it compares to the most recent one. 
finally got my hands on this film, Dolores Claiborne with Kathy Bates. This is a Stephen King film, as far as I know. Yeah. Uh, Stephen King's story. But yeah, I don't really know what to expect from this because I've never seen it. But Kathy Bates and Jennifer Jason Lee. So had to grab that. Uh, Steve Martin film I've never seen, The Man with Two Brains. Always wanted to check this movie out. There's the back. I don't know if I showed you the back of that one or this one. I have no idea. <laughs> Being really bad right now. So anyways, had to grab that. Another Tom Hanks film here. Had to grab this for the Tom Hanks collection. Joe vs. the Volcano. No, I've never even seen this movie. I think this is the 90s one. 1990s. So just out of the 80s. Meg Ryan. So cannot wait to check that out. Uh, yeah, I got some good titles here. <laughs> like I said, I forgot. Uh, Kevin Costner, Rene Russo, Tin Cup. This is a good one. I have seen this one before. Okay, next up here is a Stallone film. I know nothing about, but I just wanted to pick it up for the Stallone collection. A, a pretty old one. Uh, well, I guess not too old. 1981, so this would be after Rocky. Or the first couple Rockies. A movie called Victory. What else are you getting here? Michael Caine? Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll see what that's all about. Next up here is <laughs> some great 80s cheese action Jackson. Uh, I have not seen this since I was a little kid. I cannot wait to check this out, of course, with Carl Weathers from Rocky. Yeah. I remember I remember watching this. The, the last time I seen it, like I said, was when I was a kid. And I remember that there was a nudity scene, I think, in here that... Um, my dad would always make me turn away from every time uh, it came on. So this would be my first time not having to turn away. <laughs> Unless Jess makes me turn away. I don't know. Another Michael J. Fox film, Doc Hollywood. This is a good one. I'd be meaning to pick this one up for a while. Uh, another Steve Martin film, My Blue Heaven. Steve Martin and Rick Moranis. Steve Martin is a gangster. Rick Moranis is a federal agent. This is another good one if you haven't seen this. Highly recommend it. And then next up, and the last one, is a Showdown in Little Tokyo. Dolph Lundgren and Brandon Lee. Some uh, more good 80s cheese. Uh, or this is an 80s. 1991, but a lot of the early 90s, uh, I always call it 80s anyway, because <laughs> it's a lot of the same. But yeah, so some really good stuff there from Warner Archive. Uh, some really awesome titles. So happy to finally have in the collection. All right, we're going to get into the new releases for the week now. First one up here from Amazon. I think there's one title in here. And we got another Shudder original. Um, I believe this is, yeah, some kind of a series here. Leap of Faith, William Friedkin on The Exorcist. So some kind of, like I said, some kind of a documentary. Uh, must see for anyone who loves The Exorcist. Friedkin is as deft a storyteller on camera as he is behind it. Leap of Faith is a complete dissection and sweeping examination of the award-winning genre classic The Exorcist. Explore the uncharted depths of William Friedkin's mind's eye, the nuances of his filmmaking process, and the mysteries of faith and fate that helped shape his life and filmography as told by the man himself. Wow, so this definitely looks cool. Like I said, this is a Shutter original, came with a slipcover. So that's pretty awesome. You guys want to check out the back there? But yeah, really happy to have that. Uh, this did come out this week. All right, next package from Amazon here should be two titles in here. All right, first up here, who put this one out? Full Moon, that's what I thought. So a new Full Moon title here called Shrunken Heads. Um, <laughs> when the heck did this come out? This is some very small writing back here. I have no idea. I cannot see that, you guys. That is way too small. Yeah, I don't know. Certifiably warped, a severely mutated hybrid of midnight movie. An ABC after school special. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is the first time the Blu-ray from Full Moon. But uh, 
Yeah, this looks really interesting. I don't know. Uh, it just looked like something I had to pick up, but this is new for the week. Um, if you guys want to read the back there, hopefully you guys can read that. That's pretty small writing, but anyways, the next one up here, of a uh, pretty big release for the week. Um, and this is a new Nick, Nicholas Cage film, Willie's Wonderland. I was so hoping that this title would come with a slip. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to, but, um, I wish it would have. But anyways, I don't know what to expect from this, you guys. It's birthday time. I don't know. There's some crazy new Nick Cage movie. Uh, I gotta read this. A quiet loner, Nicholas Cage, finds himself stranded in a remote town when his car breaks down. Unable to pay for the repairs he needs, he agrees to spend the night cleaning Willie's Wonderland, an abandoned family fun center. But this Wonderland has a dark secret that the that the, the janitor is about to discover. He soon finds himself trapped inside Willie's and locked in an epic battle with the possessed animatronic mascots that roam the halls. To survive, he must fight his way through each of them. Wow, so this reminds, reminds me of something like Banana Splits movie or something. I have no idea, but just sounds wild and off the wall. I cannot wait to check this out. Um, but yeah, this is new for the week as well. So, on to the final package. Okay, so like I said, I ordered this from BestBuy.com. I originally had it pre-ordered on Amazon, but it was looking like one of those titles that were going to be delayed and show up past release day. So, I checked BestBuy.com and they guaranteed delivery on release day. So, definitely a holy grail title to come to 4K for me. Um, like I said, this is the first time to 4K released by Kino Lorber. So, I'm so excited to finally see this on on 4k and you guys know bestbuy.com they put them in these crappy cardboard packaging so i'm really hoping that the slip is okay really crossing my fingers here but uh yeah I, I i'm so excited that this finally came to 4k all right cross your fingers with me A peek. It's looking okay. Kino Lorber sealed, uh, seals their slipcovers, so looking pretty good. All right, you guys, from Mel Brooks, we have the classic Spaceballs on 4K. This is fantastic. Um, one of my all time favorite con comedy movies, definitely up there in my top 10 favorite comedies of all time. You know, the spoof, the whole spoof thing came came around pretty big in the late nineties and went on from there. But um, for those who may not know, which I'm sure y'all do anyway, but for those who may not know, Mel Brooks was definitely the the one who started the spoofs, and this is definitely probably probably my favorite spoof movie of all time. Um, and again, for those who may not know, Spaceballs is a spoof on Star Wars, but such an awesome cast in here. Uh, of course, Mel Brooks plays two different characters in here. John Candy, Rick Moranis, Bill Pullman, uh, uh, Daphne Zuniga in here. I mean, great cast. So funny. So happy to see this on 4K. Special features wise, um, we get a few things in here from Kino. And uh, for those who may not have seen this movie, go ahead and pause and read it. But yeah, definitely an all-time favorite classic comedy film of mine and uh i'm just so happy that we finally got this on 4k this is awesome kino has just been killing it lately with uh not only the regular re uh, releases but also their 4k so awesome so here we have it all my releases for the week another awesome stack of titles so happy to, to have all these in the collection so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely drop me a comment down below let me know what you guys picked up for the week. Let me know if you guys got any of these titles. Did you take advantage of the Warner Archive 4 for 44 sale? And uh, if you would, share the video around. Definitely be on the lookout, you guys. My uh, March Blu-ray update is uh, on its way, and it is a big one. Hopefully, I will have it out by this weekend. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.